Hey everyone, what's good? What's good? I am definitely trying to change my intro. <laughs> so bear with me. In this video, we are looking at how to use the cross hatch command in AutoCAD. It's fairly straightforward and um, my intention is to walk you through the steps and I hope you'll be able to use it in the future. So what we're doing first of all is I just drew a rectangle using the quadrilateral command or the rectangle command and I'm dividing it into four equal parts. All right. Next we are going to enter the hatch command I'm just going to type it in and you can see that the commands have changed at the top there to reflect what we are about to do we are going to do some hatching All right the first thing i did was change the layer i wanted some white lines so i changed that and then i changed the pattern so i'm clicking now in a square and you can see that it just turned to a white rectangle we really cannot distinguish between the lines or anything like that so i'm going to do some editing so in this bar i am changing the spacing between the lines it was on one i entered 10 type 10 pressed enter and this is what we have but it's still not wide enough so i entered 50 press enter and you can see the end result here the lines are much wider let's do some more hatching so I'm going to change the pattern to these double lines again the spacing is set to 1 and I want to increase it so this is 50 and you can see that the spacing has changed it might be a bit wide for the space that we are using so I'm gonna go back to 30 and this is what it looks like with a 30 spacing let's go to the third quadrant and we're gonna change now the angle so the angle is set to zero which is the default I'm going to change it to 45 degrees and you can see that the lines are now vertical in our last two quadrants. All right, so when you change the angle, it literally changes the angle of the hatch. So we're in the fourth quadrant now and I'm going to change the angle once more to 90 degrees. All right. So you can see now that it's the opposite direction of our first quadrant. And um, yeah, that's it for the most part. That's the changing the spacing, getting the direction or the angle. And you have to ensure that when you are when you are doing cross hatch that the space you are cross hatching in is enclosed. <laughs> 